Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi everybody, let's take a look at today's top stories. Cleveland Heights police arrested the two teens wanted in the killing of a 13-year-old last week. The chief tells us the department took a 16-year-old into custody tonight for the murder of London Hill. A 14-year-old suspect was arrested for his involvement over the weekend in Medina. Police say the teen shot and killed London while he sat at the kitchen table inside a home on Woodview Road. That happened last Monday. London was in town from Wisconsin visiting with family and police say this shooting was targeted. The YWCA and Alliance dealing with another act of hate just one month after somebody spray painted an anti-Semitic symbol on the building. The organization's now sharing photos of a man with a swastika on his jacket appearing to use a knife to slash a sign that says hate has no home here. This happened last Thursday around 11 o'clock uh, at night. YWCA hopes somebody's going to recognize this guy and turn him into police, but they say in the meantime it will not stop them from carrying out their mission of eliminating racism and e empowering women. No matter what you're going to do to us, it's not going to stop what our mission is and how we're going to live that in our community. Now, it's unclear if this latest incident is connected to the vandalism back in July. Police say in that case, the YWCA, two Masonic lodges, and the city-owned Martin Luther King Jr. Viaduct were hit by two males. The USS Cod made it back home to Cleveland tonight. The World War II submarine left Erie, Pennsylvania this morning for a day-long tow back to the North Coast, Coast Harbor. It's been in Pennsylvania since June to undergo restoration work. And now that the Cod's back here where it belongs, it will reopen to tours. During its service, the submarine sank more than 12 enemy ships. It's been moored in Cleveland since 1959. Welcome home. Awesome, Cod. Mm, and it was tugged by, or it was towed by two tugboats, the USS Vinegar. Oh, God. And the USS <laughs> Tartar Sauce. No, no, no. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Thursday, here we go. It's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy with just an isolated thunderstorm. 82 degrees in a cup of USS tartar sauce. Look, Google it. A cloud sun mixed with a stray thunderstorm. Akron, 82 with an isolated thunder shower. All right, Friday, isolated thunder, 83. Saturday, dry. Rob, it's not going to be a washout. 85 Saturday. 85 Sunday with a couple of thunder showers. And then staying in the 80s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Summertime is still here. Hang on to it. Have a good night. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.